Here, of course, is the penis. And right behind here, we have the scrotum, which has been opened up in different ways to reveal different structures. Uh, the pendulous part of the penis is visible here. This is the body of the penis right over here. Here, we have the glands of the penis. Now we have a cross section through the body, which we can look at more closely. You can see cross sections of the three erectile tissues that make up the penis. Over here, each with a hole in it, you have the two corpora cavernosa. Right over here, which has the urethra within it, you have the corpus spongiosum. Some things you can also see in this cross section are the dorsal artery and vein of the penis. Now we have a better view of the corpus spongiosum, which is right over here, and you can see that the corpus spongiosum has the urethra going through it. The urethra opens up right over here at the tip, where the corpus spongiosum has an expansion, which is referred to as the glands. The glands has a skin over it, the foreskin or the prepuce, which is removed during male circumcision. On the dorsal aspect of the penis, we have the corpora cavernosa, and what you see here is the septum that divides the two corpora cavernosa. The reason that it has this lateral-like appearance is because the separation between the two corpora cavernosa is not continuous. And we can see at the root of the penis, right over here, the corpus spongiosum, which has the urethra going through it, is expanded and this part is referred to as the bulb of the penis. Right over here we can see the median septum, medium septum between the corpora cavernosa again. So we don't really see much of the corpora cavernosa from this view. Uh, if we follow the urethra up we can see it's going through a membrane right over here which is the urogenital membrane. Uh, this muscle that we see here that's part of the urogenital membrane is the sphincter urethrae muscle. This part of the urethra which is going through this urogenital membrane is referred to as the membranous portion of the urethra and you can see it's a very small part of the urethra. This part of the urethra which goes through the corpus spongiosum and opens up at the tip of the glands is the pina urethra, also known as the spongy urethra. Some other structures we can see here include this muscle right over here, which is going to surround the bulb of the penis. This is the bulbospongiosum muscle.